Hi guys, Sharper back once again with another Mint in Box for TokyoToyStore.com And today we're going to be looking at another of the RKF figures, but this time it's significantly bigger Even though the box itself is basically the same size, it's just more packed Because this is Common Rider XA Maximum Gamer Level 99 This is Emu Hojo's penultimate form Coming about in episode 23, about halfway through the show, and yeah, it's the big lad before his final form, so I'm actually kind of excited for this because this is a very different style of figure to the ones that we've seen so far, and yeah, the box is nice. I'll even show you the insert, which has a lot more room. But usually these sections here are a lot thicker, at least twice as thick, to properly encompass the figure. But in this case, he needs all the room he can get, because he's a big lad. And we'll see that right now. And here is Maximum Mighty in the plastic and oh boy is this ever goofy I mean just look at this thing <laughs> I have no idea what they were thinking when they came up with this design it's the most Gurren Lagan thing that Kamen Rider has ever done outside of Forze and I honestly love it it's so dumb and it's just got a hefty chunk to it that Makes me wish that we got the uh, level 1 suit out of this kind of mould. Because the level 1 suits, you could just do all of them out of basically one moulding. <laughs> just the proportions of this guy and his big chunkiness is immensely fun, but. As you can probably already hear, there are a couple issues. The plastic is worrying. I haven't heard a combination of squeak and click like that in a toy before and honestly it makes me very frightened that I'm going to break this thing I haven't so far which is astonishing frankly but all this squeaky plastic it's a little frightening I don't know if this is a widespread issue I'd have to see online but out of the box it's a very frightening experience initially but apart from that I really like this figure he's a big chunky lad he's got big chunky hands <laughs> his articulation is exactly the same as other RKF figures hell I'll even show you what he looks like next to another RKF figure like, yeah, his proportions are a lot chunkier, but his head is noticeably smaller. I'm not even sure if this is the same mould as the x head for the RKF figure. It probably isn't, because this is a standard, like, RKF size, and this guy's about the same height, including his shoulder pads, but he's designed more for the aesthetic and not for scale. He's got a ball jointed head, an ab crunch, that's frightening, his arm which can mostly move without any hindrance, got a nice elbow swivel and hinge, his hands can swivel, got ball jointed thighs, knee swivel and hinge and his feetsies are on ball joints I see a sneaker like feetsies at that 
but yeah I really like this figure probably needs a little grease or something in it just to <laughs> sorry I just caught <laughs> I just caught wind of the face in the viewfinder <laughs> Oh, this is so goofy, I love him. Obviously, with this kind of figure, you're not going to get too many accessories. And this form didn't really use any, apart from the Gashikon Key Slasher. Which, honestly, I didn't really think about this form ever using weapons until they pulled out this. And he just started wielding it. And it fits in very snugly. Like, there's no special grip or anything, it's just a socket for this to go into. But it is moulded in such a way that maybe the x RKF can wield it as well. It should be interesting to see. But yeah, he holds it very nicely, waves it about, and it will fit into his other hand as well, so you can get some decent posing out of it. Overall, I adore this figure and I think he's well worth the little extra you're going to be paying at Toki Toy Store just to get him because this figure will run you $29.99 because of his heavier denser form you're going to be paying a little bit extra but I feel that's a price worth paying ultimately. As always, I've been Sharpo, this has been x Max Gamer Level 99, and I'll catch you guys next time on Mint in Box.